Lesson 3.4, round decimals using place value. We're also going to use a place value chart. We can use place value to round decimals to a given place. We locate the digit in the place to which we are rounding. We look at the digit to its right to know if we're rounding up or staying the same. We go up one if the digit to the right is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. We stay the same if the digit to the right is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Then digits to the right are removed. We use the same method to round decimals that we use to round whole numbers. We've learned in video 3.1 that we can place extra zeros to the right of a decimal. Placing more zeros to the right doesn't change the size of the shaded area, but the size of the pieces are different. For six tenths, sixty hundredths, or six hundred thousandths, the same area is shaded. The size of the pieces are different, that's all. They each have a six in the tenths place. All of these decimals represent the same amount. When we round whole numbers, the digits to the right become zeros. We want to round to the nearest hundred. We have 417. The one in the tens place tells the four to stay the same. Then the one and the seven become zeros. And the zeros are important placeholders needed to keep the four in the hundreds place. Zeros to the right of a decimal are called trailing zeros. They don't add value to the decimal. When we round decimals, we can remove the trailing zeros. So when we were rounding to the nearest hundred for the whole number, we needed the zeros to keep the four in the hundreds place. If we are rounding 417 thousandths to the nearest tenth place, we can drop off the trailing zeros and write four tenths. The one in the hundredths place told the four to stay the same, and they became zeros or nothing, and we can drop off those trailing zeros and just write four tenths. Sometimes a zero to the right of a decimal will be needed if we are rounding to that place. We're going to be rounding 302 thousandths to the nearest hundredth place. The two tells the zero to stay the same, and then he is removed. There's a zero in the hundredths place. The two tells the zero to stay the same and is removed. It rounds to 30 hundredths because we were rounding to the hundredths place. We need that zero to hold the hundredths place as a placeholder. We can use a place value chart to help us round decimals. We need to round 492 thousandths to the nearest hundredth. We write the number in the place value chart and identify the place value. We're rounding to the hundredths place, so we're rounding this nine to the hundredths place. And we can underline the place value or we could circle the digit in that place to help us identify it. The two tells the nine to stay the same, then it's removed. It rounds to 49 hundredths. If we need to go up one, it may push the other place values up too. Round to the nearest hundredth, we have 497 hundredths. The seven tells the nine to go up one, but we can't write 10 in the hundredths place. And one more than 49 is 50, so one more than 49 hundredths is 50 hundredths. And because we're rounding to the hundredths place, we keep the trailing zero in that place as a placeholder. We need to round to the nearest tenth. We have five and ninety-nine hundredths. The nine in the hundredths place tells the nine in the tenths place to go up one, but we can't write ten in the tenths place. This will push the five up to a six, and this nine will become a zero as a placeholder, and this nine drops off. So the nine said, go up, and then I'll leave. And he said, hey, five, go up, 
and the 5 said OK, it rounds to 6 ones as 6 and 0 tenths. We can name the place value to which each number was rounded. We have 161 thousandths, and it was rounded to 16 hundredths. When we look at the place value of the digit at the end, it's in the hundredths place. This was rounded to the hundredths. Here, 3 and 508 thousandths was rounded to 3 and 6 tenths. We look at the place value of the digit at the end, it's in the tenths place. We know this was rounded to the tenths. Here we have 18 and 846 thousandths, and it was rounded to 19. We don't see any decimals. It was rounded to a whole number 19. We look at the place value of the digit at the end. It's a 9 in the ones place. It was rounded to the ones place. So all we had to do is look at the place value of the digit at the end, and we knew which place value each number was rounded to. Here we have a lot of decimal numbers, and it says which two decimals round to the same nearest whole number. So the whole numbers are to the left of the decimal point. We can round each decimal to the nearest whole number to find which two are the same. For this one, we look to the right, and the 8 is going to tell the 5 to round up one more, so it's going to round to 6 ones. Here, the 3 in the tenths place is going to tell the 4 ones to stay the same, so it's going to round to 4 ones. Here, the 7 in the tenths place is going to tell the 3 in the ones place to round up 1, so it's going to round to 4 ones. Here, the 1 in the tenths place tells the 3 in the ones place to stay the same, so it rounds to 3. Here, the 0 in the tenths place tells the 2 to stay the same, so it rounds to 2. And we can see which two decimals round to the same nearest whole number. 4 and 395 thousandths, and 3 and 744 thousandths both round to the whole number 4. We can use a number line to identify the decimals that would round to 2 and 12 hundredths, as the nearest hundredth. We can see they're written in thousandths. Here is 2 and 12 hundredths. Its trailing zero was removed. And the digit in the thousandths place tells the digit in the hundredths place to go up one, and then is removed, and it rounds up to 2 and 12 hundredths. From here, because we have a 4, the digit in the thousandths place tells the digit in the hundredths place to stay the same, then is removed to round to 2 and 12 hundredths. So these digits with a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the thousandths place will round up to 2 and 12 hundredths, and these digits with a 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the thousandths place tell the hundredths to stay the same, as 2 and 12 hundredths. Because we use decimals to write money amounts, we can round money amounts if we remember to keep the place values for tenths and hundredths as cents. We can use zeros as placeholders. We need to round to the nearest whole number. This 7 tells the 5 to go up to a 6, so $5.72 rounds to six dollars. We have our zeros as placeholders for the cents. We need to round the same amount to the nearest tenth. And the two tells the seven to stay the same and becomes a zero. It rounds to five dollars and seventy cents. So remember that trailing zeros don't add value to the decimal and we can just remove them, but Sometimes a zero to the right of a decimal will be needed if we're rounding to that place value. Our next lesson, 3.5, we're going to model decimal addition with base 10 blocks. And I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a great day. I believe in you. You can do this. Bye.